Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to daisy chain multiple switch for the strict line network. If you need to daisy chain the switch for the perimeter of the property, you can reference my another video, how to daisy chain the switch for the perimeter of the campus. This is the inquiry received from our customer. He has four property, and there's about 500 feet between this property. In now he need to install some IP device such like IP camera. Also, he want to have some additional network port for future use. The, the fiber optic cable is being buried. There are two fiber optic codes to each of this property. So the fair thoughts is just use the switch and daisy chain all the switch to come up to the first one. But we know that there are problem with the daisy chain, right? If the link is down or the, the second one is down, we are going to lose all the switch after that. Also, we cannot use the star topology network. If we use star topology network, we need to have the code switch sitting here and connect to the first one. But after that, we don't have additional fiber optic cable to link additional switch back to the first one. Now the EPR, ERPS can solve this problem. Let's move to the workshop and see how we can get through this problem with the ERPS technology. I have listed the link of these items in the description. You can check the specification if you want. This is the very original design the custom want to go for. He want to daisy chain all the switch together. I just use three for demonstration. You can add more if you want. The last one is connecting to the middle one. The middle one is connected to the first one. Before we move ahead, you may wonder why we can just use one fiber optic cable. Usually we need to two, right? one for transmit, another for receive. The reason is because we are using BIDY transceiver. It uses different wavelength to transmit and receive the data. So only single fiber optic cable will be enough to link all these period switch together. Okay, the problem for the daisy chain is if this link is down or this switch is down, we are going to lose all the stuff after that. Let me just remove this switch, this cable from the window switch. Once I remove, you can see we don't have the video from the camera. Okay, let me just put it back. This is the problem for the daisy chain. If you chain more, then you, you, you're just facing the, facing the possibility to lose everything. Now the video is bad. Okay, just like what we mentioned before, we do have another, there are totally two fiber optic codes. We do have another one we didn't use. Now, now what I need to do based on the ERPS is I need to connect the last one to the first one. Okay, let me just do that. This is the additional fiber optic cable. We got the second SIP slot. Okay, connect the last one. And now let me just connect the first, first one first. How about the middle one? We don't need to connect anything because there's no need. We need to create a ring. So just like the setup we do before for the perimeter of the campus. So in this case, we can use this copra. The copra is nothing special, just put two cable, two cable together. Okay, let me just use one of these ports to link these two cables together. This is the code from the last, last property. Okay, see the video is still live, it's true. But let's just run the same test. Remove, let's assume this port or this cable is down. Okay, let me remove it. You see, we still see in the live video, right? Even one of the links down, we still can have live video. The ERPS will find different paths to create a network. In this case, it's the second fiber optic cable we add to the system the link between the first one to the last one. In order to turn on the ERPS, we can log into the, this switch. This is the L2 Plus Manager switch. We can configure which port to run the ERPS. Or you can simply just turn on the fast ring. There's no need for configuration. It will detect the ERPS and keep it running. For the cable wiring, actually we don't need to separate these two cables. We can use this primitive fiber cable. You can see two cables is put in together. And 
you can f write the cable from the each of these switch. In order to create the ring, we just need to have this coupler to change the connection from the first one to the last one. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.